So as we plan to head out to our high power launch site, we wanted to bring our large Polaron G2 rocket with the boosters. Now, because there was four of us in the car, there really wasn't enough space for all of the equipment and the rockets. And so we built this pine box to go on top of the car. The volume of the box is about 550 liters or 19 cubic feet. And so you basically put on these two brackets uh, that then support the lid of the box. That allows you to get the rockets in and out easier. The rockets are just supported using foam strips. And then the whole box gets lifted on top of the roof rack. And then the aerodynamic nose cone gets clipped on. And because we always need a table at the launch site, uh, we decided to make the table itself the lid of the box. So that just slides on and the case clips hold it down. And then finally we strap it to the roof rack. And then it's just a short drive to Malayli. It's about five and a half hour drive. And here we are on a fairly sunny day, but it was pretty blustery uh, with wind speeds of over 30 kilometers an hour with even higher wind gusts. Now, because it was just too windy to launch the Polaron G2 rocket, we decided to launch our Axion G5. Now, this was going to be the parachute we were going to use for the rocket, but as you can see, with that much wind, it was going to drift a long way. So we settled for our smaller chute that we use on our lighter rockets. We figured that if it was going to come down horizontally, the rocket's also going to add a little bit extra drag. And so here we are setting it up onto the launcher. We used uh, two and a half liters of water and foam in this rocket. And here we are coming up to pressure about 220 PSI. What actually happened was that the bottle slipped out of the coupling. Well, we've seen this before when compression heating makes the neck of the bottle a little soft and then under pressure it slips out. There was no damage done and we replaced the coupling with a tighter fitting one and tried again. Now here is a view of the onboard camera that was attached to the fairing around that particular coupling so it got flung away at a fairly high rate of speed. Landed about 15 meters away. And so we replaced the coupling and then filled up the rocket again. Now the wind made it pretty hard to pour the water in because it was blowing it out of the funnel. And then the nozzle goes on and back for another attempt. This time we brought it up to pressure of about 210 psi and launched it. And here you can see the trajectory in the gusty conditions. The parachute opened as expected. And the rocket drifted to a landing uh, probably close to half a kilometer away from the launch pad. Now normally the rocket shouldn't come back in pieces, but as you can see, um, the neck of the bottle had snapped uh, because it probably came down fairly rapidly under the small chute. And so that was it. Uh, we packed up and headed home again. Although we were a little disappointed we didn't get to fly the big rocket, we've already planned the next trip in a couple of months time out at Malayli and we'll try again.